Good evening. Thank you. Nice to be here. Let me uh, reintroduce myself to you. My name is Ed Driscoll. I grew up uh, in an Irish Catholic family in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Live out here in uh, L.A. now, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I really like it out here, but I had a lot to learn, I realized, once I got out here. I mean, for instance, I was, like, completely ignorant of Hispanic culture, you know? I mean, for instance, like, I'd never seen the name Jesus, like, written out before, right? Yeah, so like my first week in town, I get this brochure in the mail advertising Jesus the tree trimmer. <laughs> and boy, I'll bet he's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got married once I got out here to California, and my wife and I are coming up on our two-year anniversary uh, of the last time we had sex. <laughs> and um, I don't know if that's diamond anniversary or paper, but it's certainly not wood. <laughs> Or rubber, yeah. No, she's, she's a great girl, she is. We get along well, because we have a lot of things in common. You know, like, uh, we love games, like chess and checkers and cards. And of course, her favorite game, Guess Why I'm Pissed. Uh, a game can break out at any time, boy, you know? And you never know when it's gonna come, you just gotta be ready, pretty much, you know? No, we really don't have much tension in our marriage. The, the most tense part of it all was planning our wedding initially, which is always difficult, right? You got two families you got to try and please. And I remember when the wedding was being planned out, I got so stressed out. I remember thinking, you know, I, I think I'd be better off with an arranged marriage, you know, like the Amish have, right? Where they say, look, like, here's who you're marrying, and that's it. You have no choice. I mean, I'd love that. Because, uh, first of all, uh, you know, all the pressure would be off me, right? I, I wouldn't be responsible in any way for the success of the marriage, right? Yeah, my wife came to me, I'm really unhappy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Town elders. <laughs> well, screw ye. 